some more thrilling BTA 3062. Uh, it's been rough. Um, hasn't been great. Could be worse though. Um, no, no one else has died. Uh, but this son of a bitch is still flashing hammer. But it's alright. I mean, we got we got enough cash. Um, so I've done a few more missions. I've expanded the mech bay, so now I can get more mechs if I can salvage them. Um, I did get an extra tank, and I salvaged another one. Uh, not on purpose. I just got this third one uh, by accident, which is which is great. I'm not complaining. Um, so I bought a second one, and then the very next mission I went on, it got taken out. Uh, Darius dropped me right on top of the enemy reinforcements and the first thing they did was to just stop all over this thing so I had to buy another one again. Um, so that's where a lot of my money went. <laughs> um, but me it's worth it. And now I've got three but uh, I've got two, I can't field all three yet, I've got to first expand. Uh, which one is this? this one. Yeah, vehicle bay 3, so I think I'm going to do that next, because I've got three tanks. Oh wait, I can't actually. I've only got two guys that can drive tanks. Ah, but yeah, that's fine. We'll get there eventually. So I've upgraded the mech bay. I'm doing the uh, power systems now, because <coughs> it's cheap-ish. Um, my guys are better. Not great, better. Um, and uh, as for the max, I still don't have, still haven't managed to get, you know, great max. Except for this guy. Salvaged fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Um, this is a great light mech. Uh, so I dropped the assassin, sold the assassin. Uh, this guy in instead. Um, this guy's really quick, uh, relatively tough, um, and he's got a lot of support weapons. So you can see there, flamer, 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 small laser, flamer, medium laser, flamer, a lot of jump jets. Um, so this guy really excels in uh, deserts and lunar and marsh biomes, places where you can't really sink a lot of heat. Um, these guys can get behind the enemies, uh, set them on fire, and just like shut them down. So these are really good light mechs. Uh, my Panther hasn't been performing very well. Uh, he got his arm blowed off in the last mission, so I had to replace it with, you know, whatever I had available. Um, so I think I'm gonna replace him next. Well, you know, when I get a better mech, he's gonna be the next one that's gonna get replaced. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, nobody else has died. I haven't lost any mechs. Um, I've gotten some pretty good salvage, but nothing, you know, I'm, like, I'm missing a lot of pieces to, to build a new mech. I've got a few heavies, uh, no assaults yet, but that's to, to be expected, still early days. Um, so today, um, when I was in the system, I noticed. So I've cleared out all of these missions. Um, I saved this one for this recording because this is going up against the clanners. So today we're gonna fuck up some clanners and steal this shit. It's uh, it's the Johannesburg way. It's that's what we do. Um, so it's just a battle on half stars. It is going to be a little bit tougher than that uh, because the clans are badass. Um, and with <coughs> with uh, clan missions, I go for salvage. This clan stuff is very difficult to get. Um, you can't purchase it. You have to you have to salvage it. Um, the mix are the mix are good. They're not like you know. Uh, 
super like ideal that you know they're not like op um but their gear is really good so the uh, ferro fibrous and uh, heat sink kits and things like that so usually i'll uh, there's a couple of mech uh, clan mechs that that i like um so i'll salvage those if i can but with the clanners i'm going after their gear and some of their weapons uh, the weapons do have trade-offs uh, so they're like they're not necessarily better than the IS counterparts, but they um, they're different, and it, it's nice to have flexibility when uh, when you're building a mech, depending on your playstyle. So you might want extra range, less range, more speed, less speed, you know that sort of thing. So it's nice to have options, and uh, that's what you get when you murder a bunch of clanners. They give you options. So we're gonna do that. Um, and hopefully these guys are up to the task I think so, I believe in them I have faith uh, let's look at the affinities ok, so if you if you have a guy driving the same mech over a long period of time if you go to the service record you see here the affinities so when he's driving Centurion, he has an extra point to piloting. And when he's driving Centurion, uh, extra one to all pilot skills. So far. So, uh, it, it does pay to have, like, one mech assigned, a specific mech assigned to a specific pilot, because they, they get little b bonuses and perks. Uh, some of the pilots, like the Tex, for example. Hello, Mike. What do you want? They do have those affinities, but then special affinity with awesomes as well. So if you put them in an awesome, you'll get the regular affinities and then an, an additional perk. So you can look out for those. I don't know if I have any more. By. No, it's, but it's all the, the Ronin pilots in these purple decals here on the top left. Um, those guys will have like special affinities. But anyway. Um, let's get back to hopefully get some clan gear. Um, okay, no, I can't really do anything with, with these guys, so I have to unlock these um, other deployment options. But once you unlock these, then um, yeah, you, then I then I'll need the mix to put in here and the vehicles. So. That's why I'm not in too much of a rush to get that done. Um, but once I get a few other mechs, then I'm going to prioritize that. Within my budget, of course. That's uh, that's a key thing. I keep spending money on tanks and battle repairs. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to just pause this and then deploy, and I'll see you shortly. Alright, so we've just landed and uh, there's already a twist. Engine signatures are bigger than I was expecting. What are we dealing with? Okay. Should have brought a coat. Because they, they can't use, uh, you know, they don't have any imaging devices in orbit that can, like, show me. But, okay. So, <clears throat> that's fine. Let's uh, just, like, Moving towards these guys. All right, let's get down to it. Coordinates received. Uh, Got it. Roger that. So yeah, clan stuff, basically the only way you're going to get it is to salvage it. Um, that's why I, think I do full salvage when I'm going up against the clans. Sometimes you get really good stuff. Okay, so there's two, two lances, okay. Or, uh, as the planners call them, stars. Uh, vehicles of... Uh, 
Moving out. Move into position. On the move. <laughs> Deferred inbound. Ah, third party. Cretan markings. Okay, so that's cool. Additional hostiles. All right. So it looks like this is going to be. Um, so there's going to be two clan lances and a draconis combine lance. Orders. All right. Cool. Let's see how this plays out. <laughs> um, moving here just so I can get line of sight. And what are you? Clan of the X. Clan missiles. Um, yeah, okay. Let's take a shot. Copy that. Forgetting not to put my panther in danger, but I always do it. Um, so let's get him in cover soon. What did you? Okay. So what do you got? Uh, pulse laser. UAC-10, that's cool, streak is very important, I'm on the clock, what do you want? so I'm, I'm kind of, um, All right. Let's get down to it. threat assessing and also shopping, let's see what I want to salvage, Okay, so yeah, let's do it. Bring the tank to a mag fight. All right, Capellans. <laughs> um, yeah, the clans typically field uh, their lances uh, consist of five Waiting units. Um, I don't see any mix, so I think we're going to be salvaging weapons mostly. It's okay. <coughs> Weapons and gear, like heat sinks and things like that. <coughs> uh, no. Okay. Well, we might be able, we might get some good mix from the uh, Kuritans that drop here. We'll see. All of this is assuming that I don't. Uh, yes, Spectacularly, and get my entire lance wiped out. All right, full speed. And, yeah, that's what you're gonna do now. Good to go. And uh, confirm. Here. <coughs> so 
then we can start shooting these guys in the ass. Um, Waiting for orders. So yeah, I mean it's it's all right. I'll take it. Um, Roger. I don't really give a shit about the you know who gets the kills. Um, I'm just here for the payoff. Uh, I'm a businessman. So then I think these guys are going to can they? Mm. Can't really get up here. You can get to the base of this little mountain. But then shooting fighting uphill is not uh, enviable. I don't want to be in that position. Receiving you. And let's see what this fire starts are. Twisted fire starts are. Surf deck, uh, Waiting for the shot. Let these guys move, then get a sensor lock, and then use him to do some damage here. Okay, so these guys are going to focus on the, the Kuritans that drop check. Hmm, starting to think maybe I should let them. Let them fuck each other up. Then I can come around sneaky sneak and uh, take care of these guys. Then fin mop up whatever's left. This guy. So this looks like it's a full uh, star of vehicles. <coughs> and then up here there's another one. Okay. Sensors locked on. Ooh, an APC. Holy shit. That sounds like some real firepower. Yeah, I'll let these guys duke it out here, and I'll just come around and... ...mop up whatever, whatever's left. Yes, Commander. Ten four. Okay, and Wildfire doesn't have sets of locks, so she's just gonna move. Bang. Oof. That guy's having a bad day. Uh, my slow ass centurion. thing, not even a little bit. Okay.
of the clans ever do invaders. <clears throat> they would get as far as Johannesburg and then um, they wouldn't be able to leave their mechs parked outside. Because they'd get there and uh, they'd come back outside, they'd like pop into the bank and then they come out and their mechs gone. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'd be like, where's my mech? It's like, oh, are you from Clan Jade Falcon? Must have grown wings. That would be pretty funny. That and uh, all the taxi drivers with the AK 47s. They were stuck. Roll up and start opening up on these eggs. Um, okay, so we can do. We can start throwing missiles. Got a lot of missiles. What do you got? Regular access or four. Closer. Okay, so it looks like there's no clan mix. Ready for orders. So um Yeah, it's it's um So this is not that different from fighting any other mission where it's just mostly vehicles. Here it comes. The clan mix, they they have a uh, penalty to melee. So when you're doing these early missions, um, going up against light and medium clan is, clan mix, um, if you get close enough, they try and melee you, and it's it's funny as hell because they keep missing and going unstable. Um, So infuriatingly difficult to kill. Um, but um, yeah, we can we can have a look at that whenever the, the next opportunity arises. <coughs> yeah, I think this one's going to be pretty boring. Yeah, um, it's just going to be straight up, especially because I mean, yeah. Mostly because of the um, these guys coming in here thinking they're going to take some salvage and getting fucked up. If you have like a lot of <coughs> lances like this, sometimes it does feel like you're playing a board game. <coughs> you spend a lot of time waiting for the other guy to move. Orders. Uh, that in the background is oh my god oh my god squad lines huh. okay so that guy just got taken out um, yeah don't worry about that in the background that's just the uh, one of the dogs of war <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Um, so let's see what she was barking about. 
It turns out one of the neighbor dogs is talking some shit, and she um, and my dog did not take kindly to that. So she's uh, having a rap battle. Um, what do you got? Uh, you know, you know what? It's you've already moved. So I'm just gonna. Sounds like quite a big gun. Oh, it's that UAC-10. Fires two shots. Yeah. Wouldn't mind having one of those. The problem with the uh, UACs is they have that uh, jam chance. But you'd always just switch the double firing mode off. Fire one projectile and then, you know, it, it won't jam. And the clan stuff tends to be lighter. Um, holy shit. That's a lot of fire. Um, yeah, it tends to be light uh, and, uh, but it does more heat, it generates more heat. And I think the range is also, some of the weapons, the, the range is reduced. Um, and in some cases, it's extended, like the uh, the clan UAC-20. Okay. Um, the clan UAC-20 has a higher range than the inner sphere AC-20s. So, I like those, because... I like assault mix, uh, and in this mod you can you can tinker with. Ooh, there's a very heated exchange going on down there. I'm glad I'm not part of it. I'll just pick up all the pieces and profit. I, mean, I could use a break. Shit. Um, yeah, so you you are able to tinker with um, a lot of the components. So generally, um, if I can, um, I will get an atlas because I love atlases. Um, boom! Shit, they, these guys are doing my job for me. This is amazing. Um, so you can get an atlas and like stick a very large engine core on it so that it can move like I mean not great but um, it can move like a heavy mech so you can you know move like um, it can move like five squares instead of uh, three yep um, and then you get an ace a clan AC UAC 20 with, which has a longer range, and then yeah, you can uh, it out. you can really mess someone up with that, especially if you're doing melee, because then the AC20 will fire in melee, so you can you know you can kick a guy or punch a guy with an atlas. Um, punching is, is better, does more damage, um, and then if you got that chest mounted UAC20, you follow up the punching with. Uh, Two AC twenty rounds in the face. So that's it's pretty cool. Receiving um, you. So that is. But that's I mean I'm a very long way from getting an atlas. And ideally, if I can find enough pieces, uh, a royal atlas, because then it's got a. Um, an innate um, heat sinking ability. Nice. Um, Reporting one left vehicle. The the royal variants of mechs uh, sink an additional twelve heat per turn, just like uh, clan mechs are the same. So clan mechs uh, are generally faster. They usually are omni mechs. Um, not all of them, but usually, um, and they, they've got a, um, they sink an additional 12 heat per turn, 
but the trade-off to that is they suck at um, melee. Get him, man. I believe in you. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, do it for the coordinator. Oh, can I shoot at him? I can't shoot at him. But will I? What is it? Uh, no, this guy's fucked. I want him to stay here and be a target for these guys, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna fuck with him. Just running. Got it. Uh, I'm going to carry on... Shooting at these guys. Sensors. Locked on. So the Nova Cats are about... So they're two down on each. So everyone... everyone is about half strength. Except for me. <laughs> Like I say, I'm, up, I'm a businessman. Uh, uh, I'm, I don't care about your causes or uh, dying, t you know, dying uh, heroically. Um, I'm here for the money. Okay, now we can step on this guy with the under five starter. Eh. Okay. Decent. So, yeah. Um, yeah, fire starter is good against vehicles too, because the f uh, fire does. They don't. The vehicles don't. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave them to it down here. Um, vehicles don't generate heat, so your uh, if you look at your flame weapons. So the damage it does is 5 normal damage and then 10, 10 heat damage. So <clears throat> if you're going up against a mech, it'll do 5 damage to the armor and then it'll add 10 heat if it hits. But for vehicles, they take full damage as normal. So they don't take 10 heat damage, they just take 10 damage. So this guy's uh, in a bit of trouble, yeah, in his, in his butt. Um, Yeah, cool. All right, do that. Let's get down to it. See, when you skill up these guys, they yeah, makes a difference. There we go. Who brings a tank to a mech fight? All right, Capellons. Oh, shit. Turns out I didn't have to actually shoot at this guy at all. Um, Stand in by. But that means now. Okay, so we got four clan units left and one Curitan unit. Okay, I think we need to get more directly involved here. Um, your PPC. I'm going to actually do a call shot. In the front. Take this. Okay, not bad. Critical hit, Commander. Um, I think I will use missiles for this guy. Guys, on his way out. Okay, yeah, I think that's everyone that we got left. We got one, two, three, four. Yeah. So these are the remaining clan of guys. This is the last of the. these guys to be pointing their guns at him and not my guys.
So when, whenever I have a situation like this where there's a third party um, sort of wait in the wings and see you know where it's tipping and then uh, whoever whoever is winning um, I'll focus fire on them um, just so that we can even things out because the guys that are losing like this guy the, the Kiritans are done um, but he's he's useful to stick around so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shoot at him because I want these guys to shoot at him because repairs are expensive And I'm not going to be getting a lot out of this. I can't. And stay down. I think it's going to be uh, to get it on. mostly weapons, which is fine. I mean, uh, yeah, I like weapons. Should have reserved. Oh well. The milk is spilled. No, quit crying over it. Pulse, yeah, I can get a bunch of uh, pulse lasers. That's gonna be cool. Yes, Commander. I like pulse lasers, but the the range is abysmal. Acknowledged. damage. Yeah, okay. As long as it doesn't get through the armor. Ooh. I see yeah, okay, I'm definitely keeping him around. I'm just gonna keep my distance. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Uh, I don't have line of sight anyway, so, so bad decisions and high speed. We can Block you because you have already moved. Locked and loaded. I'm receiving you. Can we jump you? Yeah, okay. Acknowledge. Gonna go up to this guy. We'd probably kill him. Let's see. Okay. Reporting. Enemy vehicle removed. This is going well. So far, Centurion's Centurion is barely here. Uh, I'm just going to target like this guy so that my tanks can throw missiles at him. Two guys left. Um, there's no point in uh, acknowledged. 
being strategic anymore, so let's just shoot at everyone. Finish up. There we go. Cool. One guy left. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Oh. Okay, they won't let me finish off that last guy. Okay. Mission successful. Now let's see what we can loot. Loot the room. Vehicles, yeah, these tanks are amazing. <coughs> Don't, urban mech. I didn't even see an urban mech. Um, okay, but I'm not taking that ER large pulse laser. Yes, please. Oh, that ER PPC. RPX IC5. Mm. And LRMs have less range, but they're much lighter than the IES kind. So you can see they're two and a half tons, but the IES one is five. Uh, they also generate much more heat. So, mm, I mean, yeah. Uh, what else am I going to do? UAC 10. Uh, do we have any heat sink? Heavy ferro. Take the heavy ferro because I don't have any. And there's the uh, wait, no, don't think we have any heat, no, no heat sinks at all because there weren't any clan mix. Um, UAC 10, 10 tons. So many good ones, not easy to choose. Uh, yeah, I see these pulse lasers. 240 meters, you have to be on the ground. So it's basically a support weapon. Um, so I like them, but they have limited usefulness. Um, I think I'm going to take this. Where is that thing? RPX AC5. So these are cool. Yeah, cool. Um, so I'm going to start inching. I've got pretty good rep with uh, the Lyrans. I'm going to start inching towards uh, Davion and um, getting some rep with them. So I think uh, the next time we will be in Davion space and um, doing missions for them. <laughs>